Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you my favorite pairs of running shorts and tights with storage options. So the reason I really wanted to do this video is because I carry a few essentials with me on almost every one of my runs, especially during marathon training. You want to get those gels tucked in somewhere without too much bounce, right? And I've just had the hardest time to find good pairs of running shorts and tights or half tights with some storage options. And unlike the medium shorter runs, I just don't want to carry a vest with me, you know? So the way this works is I'll first show you what I carry on my normal runs, anything under an hour mark without wearing a hydration vest. And then I'll start with the running shorts first and then go into the half tights. So before we get started, no one's sponsoring me for this video. These running apparels were purchased with my own money. So let's get started. All right, so first off, we have an iPhone 12 Pro. This is not the Max, and this is not a small phone. And I do have a little thin case on it. So it's not like the smallest phone ever. And then second, I always carry a little chapstick with me. This thing's pretty easy to tuck away. Although it, you'll be surprised, it actually doesn't fit in most of the, the key pockets. And speaking of keys, I have a small set of house keys with me. And then, even on the shortest run, I always tuck a gel into my shorts. Because sometimes, you know, I skip breakfast and I really shouldn't, but sometimes I do. Um, but when I'm marathon, when I'm training for a marathon, for those long runs, I could have up to maybe like four or five, even six gels with me. Five is usually my limit, and I'll tuck like an extra one or two just in case. And then, along with the gels, I always carry a little plastic bag just to put the garbage in, so it doesn't stain my clothes and get it all sticky and all that. And then a mini tiny hand sanitizers. And finally, if I'm filming on the day of my run, I'll also carry a little action camera. So I'll go and do my thing, get my shots. And then after I'm done, and if I still have like a substantial amount of running in, I'll disassemble it, tuck the camera somewhere in my pants, and then either hold or tuck the selfie stick in elsewhere. And then another important reference point I thought I would mention is my size. I'm 5'8", about 130 pounds, and most of the clothing I wear is US men's size small. So let's start with the shorts category. The first pair I have for you is the Rabbit FTK Trail Shorts, and this is the 3-inch edition. I believe it comes with 5-inch and possibly 7-inch as well. So let's take a look at the pockets. On the back, there is a large pocket that fits a phone, and then on both left and right hips, there's a stash pocket that's actually pretty big. Like, my hand's this big, you can see these are actually pretty deep pockets. It almost fits my entire palm inside. And most of the rabbit apparel that I own, the fabric is really soft and airy. As far as this particular pair, it's it feels pretty comfortable. It almost feels like you're not wearing much at all. And uh, I'll say that um, these are line shorts and the liner here is really comfortable and it's really, it's a little loose as well. So you don't feel, you know, uncomfortable um, when you're running. Although I've, even though they're like the more looser fit liners and, and uh, the fit in general, these are more relaxed fit actually, I should put it that way. Uh, I haven't had any sort of uh, chafing or anything like that with these particular pair. However, I do find a couple of troubling things with these pair of shorts. So first of all, it's the waistband. The waistband is actually really thick and it's, it's almost like pretty uncomfortable. It feels like uh, thick belts and it doesn't air very well. And then secondly, when I tuck my phone in here, I think because it sits so low, it tends to bounce a lot. And so it's really uncomfortable, especially when you're starting a run, when your, your phone isn't quite bouncing to your same cadence yet as you run, as well as like you can't really perform any sort of speed work or anything like that. Your phone will just be bouncing, bouncing, bouncing and super uncomfortable. 
And finally, even though these pockets seem like they're really multifunctional, I do find that the gels tend to bounce off. And so you can see that the, I've only worn this maybe a handful of times, but the elastic's already pretty loose. So I feel like these shorts, they look great on paper. I feel like there's just a little bit of missed opportunities here. If they fix up those couple of things that I just mentioned, I feel like this could have great potential. So these shorts go for $68 MSRP, and I'll put the descri description link down below. And the way that I would use the shorts is probably just for easy runs and recovery runs. And maybe for gym days, if I don't have anything with like a side pocket to put my phone in, but no hard effort at all. So the second pair of running shorts I'm excited to show you is the Janji 4-inch AFO Vents Multi Shorts. So I actually didn't think I would love these shorts as much as I do. I got these on a sale, but they normally go for $60 or $78. And these are, these are line shorts also, and they do have a um, split leg design so it's for maximum ventilation and easier to open up your strides and the way that the pocket is embedded in the shorts is they are attached to your liner so just to show you on the front you have two i would say maybe like medium to large pockets definitely can fit a gel or two on each pocket pretty comfortably and then on the right hand side inside it has a little bungee cord attached to a carabiner as well for your keys and then going to the back on like the hip area you have two uh, pretty medium sized pockets i think you can maybe uh, fold up a gel and then tuck it into each pocket pretty comfortably and maybe fit a bar as well and then on the very far back you have the large pass-through pocket that that has a little uh, stitching at the top but i just want to show you how i put my phone in so the way this works is even though it does fit my phone it takes a little bit of massaging and okay all right so the phone is like this it sits like right below your waistline and so it's pretty snug i would say even though it does fit a phone you know it, it does take a little bit to get it in and out so i would say if you need your phone often in your run these are probably not the sh shorts for you but if you probably only check your phone like maybe once or twice, like when you're starting a run, ending your run, or making an emergency call, I say that these are pretty solid. So a couple of things I didn't really enjoy about these shorts. One is the cut. I find that pretty common in most of the Janji apparel is the cut seems to be pretty boxy. I don't know if it's like a unisex design or whatnot, but I just don't find the cut very flattering. And then second of all, I actually took these I actually took these for a half marathon race and I really enjoyed it because I didn't have to hold anything. You know, my phone was secure back there and the waistband never like rise up or like become loose or anything like that. And I was able to like tuck two gels in without them bouncing around and they were e pretty easily accessible when I needed them. And one thing I will say about the fabric is it kind of sticks to your skin after it gets wet. So for me, I'm a I'm a pretty heavy sweater and so once my legs became wet and so they just kind of stuck to my skin so that kind of defeats the purpose of a split shorts it didn't really ventilate very well so these shorts go for $78 on Janji's website and the way I would use these shorts is for long runs and most of my races so now let's go into the half tights category since it's summer I'll do a review on the half tights that I like and the first pair that I'm excited to show you is the Nike Aeroswift half tights. I believe the length here is about nine inches. And so for reference, I'm 5'8", and these sits maybe like three, four inches a bit above my knee. And so it's pretty long, it's not super short. And then these are a, these do have a liner and inside the liner, you actually have a lot of pockets Two in the front, there's some water resistant material, but these barely fit like a key, maybe a couple coins if we still carry coins. Um, and then on the back, you have two slightly larger pockets. 
I have tried to tuck a gel in, him, in here before. I wouldn't recommend it because they touch directly into your skin if they stick out. So I would say maybe, I don't know, maybe some shoes or something, some small objects that won't chafe your skin or cut your skin. So these pair of tights actually almost didn't make it to the list. But it's not because I don't like Nike's material or half tights in this matter. It's because of the lack of pockets. In fact, in 2019, I wore the 2019 edition to CIM where I ran my second fastest marathon. But the biggest drawback of these half tights was they didn't have any storage options and these tiny pockets won't fit a gel. And where do I put a phone? In the belts. And I don't want to carry a belt with me, right? But with the updated version in 2022, they actually added a huge back pocket. And so if you take a look here, there's a lined pocket. So there's some water resisting material. If your phone gets sweaty, it won't start, you know, dialing random numbers and calling emergency line for you, which has happened before. Um, but for reference, so I have a iPhone 12 Pro with a case. It barely fits in there. It ha I have to like massage it in and then, you know, stretch the stretchable area for it to barely fit. But it will fit. I think that if you don't use a case for your iPhone 12, or smaller models, it will fit, but it will definitely not fit the max models or a larger phone. In terms of the material, it is super light and stretchy. It's probably most one of the most breathable pair of apparel that I own. And it dries pretty fast as well. I like how they did the, the pattern this year where it sort of, it's, it's kind of, more aerodynamic than what they have before as like a traditional stretchy, I don't know what to call it, but the pattern here definitely helps. It doesn't feel the softest compared to the other ones I just showed you, but in terms of performance, I would say that these perform the best out of every pair that I have. But I've always had one troubling thing about Nike half tights is how not modest they are. Uh, you can't really tell from here, but when you wear the pants, it shows up on the pictures. It's um, the, it outlines your, you know, sensitive areas pretty well. So that's one part I don't really like about these pants. And then secondly, like I, I'm, like I mentioned before, it does have one large pocket, but it doesn't have a real phone pocket. If you have a smaller phone, this definitely won't be an issue. But if you have a larger phone, you'll need some other storage options if you plan on bringing your phone with you on the run. So these go for $85 MSRP on Nike's website. And the way that I would use these shorts is I would probably just use them for short distance races like 5K, 10K where I don't really need a gel, but I would still like to have my phone and maybe my keys with me. So moving on to the runner up half tights is the Rabbit Speedster half tights. So I actually race in, actually set my marathon PR in these. I wore these for the 2021 CIM where I ran my fastest marathon ever. And right off the bat, the material is super soft. These are like a performance fleece kind of feel material. And there's a large pocket in the back where it does fit my phone very comfortably. I can take it in and out one handed, no problem. And it has a little tassel thingy for you to open the zipper and close the zipper without like having to find a little knob to like close it. So I do appreciate that. And then on the side, on both of your, just below your hips, there is a large pocket that's shape of a large gel. So as I mentioned earlier, I just wanted to show you how these gel, not the smallest gel, fit inside these pockets. So as you can see, it does come up a little bit and that was definitely one of my concerns racing at CIM if they would just be bouncing and then all of a sudden like fly out I have to like stop my stop my marathon and then go back and pick up my nutrition that I dropped and for total I believe I put two gels on this side and then three gels on this side and they never slipped out which was great and for the not so great things about these shorts is first of all they're not lined so you have to if you do choose to wear underwear 
with tights, you have to find other options, which can be tricky as well. I find that it's very difficult to find running underwear in general. Also, these may not be the best pair of running bottoms for summer because they can get pretty warm. And another thing I want to mention is that there is a like a medium compression to these shorts. And so even though they do feel pretty constricting, I didn't have any issue running at marathon pace to set my PR. So I don't think you have to worry so much about that as much as like the warmth of the pants. These shorts go for $70 on Running Rabbit's website. And the way that I would use these shorts is training or racing in uh, colder climates, ideally around the 50 degrees mark, but I have worn them up to like mid 60s. And even though they felt a little warm, I find it okay. I would just wouldn't wear it in like 80 plus degrees weather. And coming to my favorite pair of running half tights of all time is the John G 8 inch groundwork half tights. So these are my go-to pair of half tights for actually most of my runs. I would say anything from easy run, recovery run, long runs and workouts. The reason that I love this so much is, first of all, it has plenty of storage options. On each leg, you have an outer pocket and then a, a sh outer shorter pocket. And then you have a really, really deep pockets. On the website, it says that you can fit like a small flexible water bottle. I've never really tried it. If I need water bottles, I normally just do a handheld or a um, hydration vest. And then same on the other side as well. And then in the back, you have another pass-through style pockets where I couldn't really quite get my phone in here. I'm sure if you spend enough energy, you can thread it through, but I feel like it's just gonna be equally as difficult to get my phone out as well. But you can tuck like a plenty of nutrition back here. I think I've fit maybe six gels in here all at once. I didn't really have any trouble getting it out either. One thing to keep in mind is that the enclosed area is a larger area than the four inch shorts that I showed you earlier. And then earlier, and then the, for the drawstring cord, this one's on the outside. These shorts, these tights are not lined, so you have to look for running underwear options if you must. And then on the left front hip area, there's also a pocket. This is where I put my keys in. And the reason I love this so much is because it fits pretty much everything I've mentioned to you earlier. It fits my gels, it fits my phone, fits my key and an action camera too. These shorts actually dry really fast. Like say if I did a sweaty one hour workout today, I can just line it up and by next day it'll be dry and it actually has a pretty good odor resistant property as well. It doesn't really smell and they are pretty lightweight to me. So if I were traveling and I want to get some running in, these will definitely be my go-to pair to pack because they are light. When you fold it up, it doesn't really take up much of your space at all. So even though I love these half tights the most, there's one occasion that I would not wear these is when I'm racing. It's a little surprising because it does seem very stretchy and really comfortable to me, but I think the compression is a little too much. So I've raced one, maybe two half marathons in these, and both times I just felt like when I wanted to open up my stride, the compression is a little bit too strong, especially late in the race where your legs are pretty fatigued already. I felt like I had trouble opening my strides and giving it a strong finish kick. And so that's one occasion that I wouldn't wear these shorts, which is a little surprising to me. So at the time I'm filming this, this is actually last year's model, and I believe there's an updated version on Janji's website, and they go for $78. So that's all the reviews I have for you today. Let me know what you think, comment down below, like and subscribe if you liked the video, and I'll put my social handle here or here as well if you wanna connect with me on Instagram. Thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you next time. The rabbit half tights. Oh, speedster half tights. Okay, running up, running up. John G. 4 inch AFO vents, multi shorts. Today, I'll show you. Bleh.